Hello everybody, my name is Jay Marg from Dali.net.au. Welcome to episode 2 of our Dali school, Dali Fade Rate. Last series we went over the Dali Fade Time setting and how to use it so that your lights turn on and off with a smooth fading effect. Now once you've achieved that, you will want to dim your lights up and down with the same smooth yet controlled precision. In this episode, we'll be discussing Dali Fade Rate, which will allow you to achieve that. Okay, let's get started. Fade Rate is the speed that the light will dim. By having access to the fade rate setting, we can control exactly how the light will look. Dali has digital steps, so when the light dims, we want it to be smooth without showing those digital steps. Last week, we spoke about fade time and how that creates a smooth curve when lights are turned on and off. When we use a manual switch, we want to dim the lights up or down. In this circumstance, we can use fade rate to smoothly dim the lights at a set speed without showing any visible flickering or visible steps. As with the fade time, fade rate is saved and processed by the ballast. This means that the control system does not contribute to making sure that the lights dim smoothly. The ballast instead takes care of its own smooth dimming. In this way, regardless of what control system or method you are using to dim the lights, if you have a Dali ballast, they will always dim smoothly. Thanks to fade rate, unlike other dimming systems, it is possible with Dali to dim the lights up and down without having to calculate where lights are. By sending the up and down Dali commands, the lights will automatically adjust with the desired fade rate. This may seem obvious, however, with other systems, take phase dimming or 0 to 10 volts for example, you need a control system that is required to track where lights are at all times in order to calculate a dimming curve and then process the control signal to dim the lights up and down smoothly. Because you don't have to do this calculation with Dali, it is possible for a simple device such as a Dali switch to manually dim the lights smoothly, even when there is no control system. Now let's have a look at how to change and set up the fade rate setting. If you are a system integrator, then you may have your own control gear software, which may allow you to change these settings. If not, you can pick up a Dali USB from our web store and the free master configurator software to change the settings in each light. Now let's have a look at how to change the fade rate. There are 15 different settings for the fade rate. To change the setting, select the ballast in master configurator, like that, and move the slider to the fade rate you desire. Here you can see all the steps that are possible for the fade rate. Once you find the steps per second that you want the lights to change at, you can press save to save the setting into the ballast. As a quick troubleshooting tip, if you are having trouble with Dali lights not responding quickly enough when they are manually dimmed, you should check the fade rate setting of the ballast and make sure that they are not set too low. Because each ballast has its own fade rate, it is possible to have multiple lights dim at different speeds with a button press. Usually, you want to make sure that all the switches have the same fade rate unless you are specifically going for that effect. If the lights have different fade rates, then some lights in the Dali group will dim faster than others. Okay, so let's get a bit more technical into exactly what fade rate is. Fade rate is measured in steps per second, so what does that mean? As a digital system, each Dali light has 254 fade positions or steps. These are commonly known in Dali as arc power levels. The fade rate is specifically how many of these steps will be moved if the light were to be continually dimmed for one second. So at the highest speed of 358 steps per second, the lights will ramp through the 254 steps in less than one second. This is usually too fast for most people who are using a switch. At the slower speed, the lights will move at 2.8 steps per second, and this will take around 90 seconds and will usually be too slow. A good setting for the lamp speed is that the lights dim through their full range in around 4 to 6 seconds. By using the fade rate of 63.3 steps or 44.7 steps you can achieve this and there are other situations where you may want a slightly higher or lower setting so that you can increase or decrease the speed to fit the project needs. The fade rate setting only applies to the Dali up and Dali down commands. It does not apply to any go to scene or direct arc power commands. They are controlled with the Dali fade time setting that we looked at last episode. It also does not affect step up or step down commands as these commands only move by one step or one arc power level at a time. Okay, so that's it for episode two, Dali fade rate. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more videos. Uh, you can email training at dali.net.au if you'd like to learn more about Dali and require some training. Please support us by buying Dali lights and equipment from our online Dali store at www.dali.net.au 
and if you want to try anything you've seen in this video yourself you can purchase a DALI USB download the free master configurator software if there are any other topics you'd like us to cover please put them in the comments thanks for watching